Grow My Cleaning Company teaches owners of cleaning companies just like you how to grow your company, make more money, and finally take charge of your financial future and your life. This podcast is about automating and creating systems that give you time and money freedom so you can grow like crazy without losing control. Since this is totally free, if you're getting tons of value, want to support us and make sure that you get more of the good stuff, subscribe, rate, and review to this podcast today. Now, on to the show. All right, Cleaning Nation, surprise. <laughs> I'm not Mike, so um, hopefully you can hear me. I've got my AirPods on. Uh, just a little bit about me. I'm Lindsay. I'm the Director of Operations here at Grow My Cleaning Company. And uh, yeah, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully uh, this is coming through here. Um, yeah, so here we go. Hey, Luciana, what's up? Hey, so for those of you that have never met me before and you're like, who is this girl? Why is she not Mike? Mike asked me to step in today. Yes, I'm the director of operations here, but I'm um, also a secret weapon for Mike. I'm kind of like director of operations by day. That's my Bruce Wayne and uh, by night. No, just the other side of me is that I'm actually, I've been a podcast recorder, recording engineer, a producer and a host of a podcast for the past four years now. And um, I've helped podcast chart on Apple's new and uh, noteworthy section, which is like basically the billboard for podcast episodes and uh, podcast shows, I should say. Anyhow, so today we're going to get super meta <laughs> and we're going to talk about podcasting on a podcast. Deep, I know. <laughs> So um, first of all, if you're listening to a replay of this or you're live right now, I'm gonna give you like five seconds to go grab a pen and paper. Just, just go do it, trust me. If you're even thinking about ever doing a podcast, you're gonna wanna take notes. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, still giving you time, I'm gonna say, hey, hey, Harjun, I always say your name wrong, I apologize for that. But what's up, buddy? See you all the time. Ashley Whaley, what's up? Girl, you gotta stick around and push your podcast because I'm definitely gonna mention you. So, all right, now that y'all got your pen and paper, let's get right to this. So let's address the first part of this. Why should you make a podcast for your cleaning company? You're probably like, Lindsay, what does podcasting have to do with my cleaning business? The answer is everything. It has everything to do with it. So podcasts are a great way for potential clients, your potential clients to go from a stranger from them to get to know you and then to trust you. Like that's what we're all about. This is what Mike preaches day in, day out. You gotta like, you gotta give your clients, your potential clients, a way to get in and get to know you. Oh my gosh, Mike's here. Hey Mike. Hey John Zapata Strepo, love your name. And Lydian's here. Wow. Sorry for all the shout outs if you're not listening to this live, but you should get live then. Anyhow, so yes, why the heck should you make a podcast? You're gonna bring value to your clients. That's an excellent way to do this. So this podcast right now, this, this recording I'm doing is an excellent example of this, going a little meta again here. So um, you're bringing value to your peeps while they get to know you better. You're giving them information they can use and uh, it's not gonna all be about you and, and your cleaning company, it's gonna be about your community, right? <laughs> so uh, Carolina says, hello, Cleaning Nation. Hey, Carolina. Okay, so, uh, People tend to binge listen, so when they do reach out, they love you. Like, that's another point, too. You're bringing so much value. It gives you a celebrity vibe. It opens up doors for you. Um, for example, Spencer, one of our uh, millionaire mindset folks, he was featured on two channels. He got a sponsorship off his first month. And his podcast, it's actually about supporting other businesses in his community. That's the thing. It really doesn't have always a lot to do with cleaning. I would say like 80 to 90% of it is about your niche or something you're going to focus on. And we'll get to that. 10% um, is just going to be about your pitch, like what you do, like your cleaning. Um, so just reading my notes here, since I'm, I'm a little side note here, my podcast, I usually record them and then I go back and edit them. So Mike's kind of challenging me to get on the live end of things. So this is a great example of me learning with you. I think this is awesome, but I have to have notes and we'll get to notes too in a second. So back to this. Um, so that was after his first month uh, for Spencer. Mike had Russell Brunson, the owner of ClickFunnels, 
uh, on his podcast. Like that's huge. That's, that's amazing. Um, you can send your podcast to your best prospects to teach them how to buy from you in an automated, authentic way. You can even invite your best prospects to be guests on your podcast, which is an excellent way to convert them into clients. So this is just the back end of, to answer your question, yes, you should definitely have a podcast for your cleaning company. Um, so for you, those of you like, okay, but you said like 90% of it, we're not going to talk about cleaning. So Lindsay, what the heck am I going to yak about the whole time? Hey, Jessica. Okay. Good to see you. Joe. So what are you going to talk about? Great question. Surprisingly, like I said before, don't make it all about cleaning. Again, 90% is about bringing value and the other 10% or even less is about your offer. So you're going to center this whole thing around your niche. How often do we sell anything here? Like how often? Never. We just offer more and more value. So here's some examples, some more that I kind of hinted at. I just mentioned Spencer with the Pocatello Business Podcast, but Ashley Whaley, who just popped her head in here, shout out girl if you're still here, uh, hers is the more free time podcast. So first of all, she is focusing and Ashley, you can feel free to like put a link to your podcast in here, but Ashley is all about bringing value to, um, parents, especially moms that need more free time in their life. It's all about freeing that up. So she'll talk about hacks. She'll talk about tips to give them more time in their life, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, and the, the little bit of it is just really about cleaning, but people are going to get value. They're going to get tips, tricks, and ideas out of that. With Spencer's podcast, they're going to talk about everything from, uh, you know, different businesses, basically just networking together. It's bringing value to the other uh, businesses. It's bringing value to the listeners. And it's bringing value to the host because people are going to get to know him better. Um, just going over to the uh, questions here. This is funny because usually I'm the moderator and I'm just flying solo. So sorry if I don't see it right away. Evie Lynn says, this topic is too funny because 40% of my pod clients keep telling me I should do a podcast because I think I'm funny. Laugh out loud. Um, funny you should say that, Evie Lynn. That's how I started my podcast. Back when I had an office job. Just a little side side story here. My coworker and I, we would just tell funny stories, like just in between taking phone calls. And it was a really intense job. We were totally on the phone all the time, a little stressful. And we would like tell each other these funny stories from like our commute in New York City to like relieve the pressure. And that's how my podcast, Brooklyn Marlin, was born. Anyhow, people were like, you should start a podcast. This is funny stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. I think you're on this something. Okay. Anyhow, back to you guys. Okay, so I uh, just gave you an example of Ashley. Um, here's some other ideas, because I feel like a lot of times people are like, oh, I should start a podcast, but I don't know what to talk about. That's, that's always going to be something in the back of your mind. I'm going to tell you right now, I've been doing this for four years. I've seen Mike do it too. Like you're always constantly generating ideas for podcasts. So here's some examples. So say your cleaning niche is that you specialize in retired communities, Okay. So you can make your podcast all about the retirement community wherever you're serving. So you can make it about activities they do, restaurants that have specials for retired people. You could just make special sales. I mean, there's like a zillion, zillion things you could talk about for retired co companies and like, or excuse me, for retired people. So one of the last things you're going to mention is, hey, I also run a cleaning business. You know, you could, you could say it a million ways. Here's an offer, but they're going to get to know you first that way. Okay, so uh, another example I have here is um, you could, <laughs> this is for me, if you are in the New York area in Queens, let me know if this is your niche. How about 30 something, we'll just say 30 something, I won't give you my exact age, but professionals who work all the time and they just want to play when they get off work. Like when I'm done working, I just want to go on my paddleboard because it's summer and I don't want to think about cleaning. All okay? right, so you can easily target, say that's your niche. You could just think of so many ways to bring value to that type of person, like other types of hacks, like um, here's some time-saving hacks. Here's some VAs companies to help you handle your workflow. Uh, it doesn't have to be about cleaning at all. Cleaning could just be one of the many ways you, you help them, you offer service. So there's a few ideas. Other ideas you could play around with would be um, how to outsource your list. Like I just said, outsource your to-do list. Like for me, use me as an example. Um, how about talking about food? If you work in the restaurant industry or you clean restaurants, everyone loves to talk about food. Um, if you clean schools, you can get active either in a school page or you can feature like a Facebook group page that's all about schools in your area. Start there. Um, you could. This is a weird idea I had, but Bear with me. What if you synced up with like a babysitter's group? 
like what like what like what if you had um a group of babysitters that are in your area and you just recommend each other like cleaners babysitters i don't know just something i thought of so anyhow for more ideas i would make a list of 10 ideas every day for 10 days just do it it's it's just game it's just a game changer um i got this idea for from james altucher who's this amazing entrepreneur that also has a podcast definitely check him out. He's, he's just, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to listen to his podcast. It's one of my favorites. Uh, anyhow, that's one of his hacks. Just make 10 ideas a day. And yeah, like eight of them are probably going to be terrible ideas. That's okay. So at the end of 10 days, you're going to have a hundred ideas and maybe five or 10 of them are good. Keep doing that. It's a great, great exercise. Uh, going back through comments here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I've been loving Ashley's podcast. Jessica says so value. Awesome. So much value. That's awesome. Cynthia says, hello. Uh, Karen says, that sounds so awesome. Dylan, I've got a list of about 100 ideas left. I'll add constantly telling Siri to take a note. Should be next week starting. Dude, way to go. That's awesome. Evie Lynn, hiring. Oh, yeah, brainstorming now. Yeah, girl, brainstorm. Jason Johnson, hey, thanks for everything. I'm copying Spencer Ward. My podcast launches July 7th. Amazing. You guys will uh, rock. Oh, Ashley Whaley, James Altucher. His last name is spelled A-L-T-U-C-H-E-R. He's active on Instagram, Facebook. You just type in an Apple podcast, you'll find him. Okay. So also um, ask your niche what they want to talk about. Like ask your people, hey, what, what's going on? What are you talking about? You can just straight up ask them, ask your community. Mike and I ask you guys all the time, what do you guys want to talk about? And that's actually one of the reasons I'm here because so many of you have been like, Lindsay, how do you start a podcast? Lindsay, how do you do this on a podcast? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come on. Let's, let's do it. Okay. So check, check Facebook groups also to see what posts get a lot of interaction. Just get super active on Facebook. You can use free tools like Google Trends or fancy paid tools like BuzzSumo. That's a mic tip. I'm not as familiar with that. With that, I'll be straight up. But if Mike says you should check it out, you yeah, probably should. Um, also, join Facebook groups around your niche. This is super, super important. All right. So I see lots of comments. Oh, so glad you guys are getting ideas. Dylan, recommendations for artwork. Yes, dude. Okay. This is not in my little scripts here at all. But Fiverr, you can go on there and just find like tons of um, people to submit ideas to. Another one is called 99 Designs. Uh, I think that's something Tim Ferriss, another amazing podcaster you should check out, recommends. Um, but yeah, 99 Designs, I think it's a bit more expensive, but you get like five choices or something. You should just check all of them out online. But yeah, Fiverr, 99 Designs are my top um, faves. Also, you can go into Facebook groups and just like holler out if anyone is doing that. Um, some there's actual Facebook groups where people just do um, design and will like bounce that off you, um, ideas off you. Just a few ideas. Okay, so now we're getting into the nitty gritty actual podcast work, the actual workflow. So you've got all your ideas, you know what you're going to talk about, and you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So the workflow I'm teaching you today is actually super simple. There's no fancy studio gear needed to start. You just get a laptop and a smartphone, like seriously, right now. Honestly, here's a tip. My husband and I, we have a studio upstairs, like a professional grade recording studio. And I'm down here in my dining room with my AirPods on and my laptop. Like I keep it super casual. And you know what? That's all you need to start, honestly. So the gateway into the podcast kingdom now, it's, it's so much lower than it used to. I mean... Yeah, you don't need a $500 microphone to do what I'm doing right now. So this whole thing, this whole workflow is going to center around Facebook Live. Exactly what I'm doing right now. And how am I doing this? Okay, so let me slow it down a little bit. This is a lot. Take notes, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to reuse your Facebook Live into several things. First of all, it's going to live on Facebook. But then you can download your podcast episode into a YouTube video. Facebook will allow you to just straight up download the video. You can also upload the, the audio from that um, video to Apple Podcasts or whatever, um, whatever uh, syndication you're gonna use. So here is the biggest hack for how the heck do you do this. You're gonna check out repurpose.io. Mike introduced me to this. I'd been podcasting for three years before I met Mike and I had no idea this existed and it's a game changer. 
Um, it does cost like 15 bucks a month or something like that. Totally worth every penny because it's going to automatically um, set up a workflow. So it'll take your Facebook lives. You hook it up to your Facebook account. It'll download the video for you and upload it to a podcast. You just tell it exactly what you want to do. Check out repurpose.io and just watch all their videos. Like that man explains it way better than I ever could. So, all right. So, um, that also you can use that for social media content, like on your Instagram, your Twitter. And for you, those of you already asking and saying, Lindsay, I do not want to get on video. Like, can I do this without video? Yes, you could, but you want to base it off video. I honestly don't usually podcast with video and I'm working on changing that right now because of what I've learned here. So people literally begin to trust your face and your voice. There's just something about seeing someone's face that makes you like get to know them better. It, it makes sense. Even though it's a virtual and it's digital, it totally makes sense. It's just like everything Mike teaches too. It's all about systems, guys. Systems. So I'm going to deep dive farther into that now. So um, yeah, you know what? Mike did make a good point, actually. If you're scared to get on Facebook Live, you can record this through Ecamm Live. If, if you're just a little scared, like I've known people that have done their first couple episodes and they just record their video and they don't do it live. Totally fine. It's totally okay. Shh, like it's, I, I won't, I won't tell. Um, but once you get in the groove of it, I totally recommend doing it live. So back to the process. So step one, you're going to find a software that you can schedule your videos with if you're doing it live. So what I'm using right now is a tool called Ecamm Live. It's E-C-A-M-M. Um, you can also use one. I don't use it, but I've heard good things about StreamYard. Um, Ecamm Live is for Macs. I think StreamYard is for any operating system. So that's cool. So these are going to allow you to schedule ahead of time what you want to create. And it's going to help you create a buzz too. So I usually do them 24 hours in advance. Uh, bonus tip here, you can make a cute little thumbnail um, with a picture that you can promote on the, like the placeholder. There's a placeholder for when you schedule the Facebook live and you can reuse that later as your th a thumbnail for your YouTube video. That's what I do. Um, and you can use free little editors like Pixlr, P I X L R, or I heard our community really likes Canva, C A N V A. I've never used it, but I'm pretty sure both are free. Um, okay. So number two, you're going to jot down a script of what you want to say. Trust me, I know this whole process by heart, and I have a script right here because I'm like, you just get excited, and you want to like share everything, but you don't want to forget anything, so I have a script. I recommend it practicing it like to yourself and recording it for like 50, uh, you want to make it like 15 or 20 minutes tops. Um, hint that I've learned the hard way, interviews always go way longer than you think they're going to. It just happens. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So step three is go live. If you're going live at your scheduled time, you do the thing. You don't worry about who's watching. You don't worry about who's going to listen to this in the future, kind of like I am right now. Um, I mean, check me out. I'm literally doing this right now. I'm doing the whole process for you. <laughs> Side note, yeah, like I said before, my podcasts are usually pre-recorded. So this is a little weird for me too, but it's fun. All right, step four, after your Facebook Live is done, like I mentioned before, you're going to share the crap out of it. So you're going to download it, upload it to YouTube, make the audio into an MP3. Secret weapon again, repurpose.io. It is a game changer. Um, it's just all about automation. It really just makes workflows so you don't even have to think about it. The less you have to think about this podcast procedure, this whole workflow, the more likely you're going to keep doing it. So you want to get it as automated as possible, just like everything else in your cleaning company that we talk about. All right. So step five, depending on how hardcore you want to get with syndication, syndication meaning shooting it out to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, to Google Play, all the podcast providers. Um, depending on how hardcore you want to do, you can check out getting the audio on a syndicator such as Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N. They send it out. It's a service. It, again, it's not, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I just recommend it because they've spit it out for you. You don't even have to like really think about it. You just have to connect everything. One thing you will have to do if you want to get on an Apple podcast, and yes, if you're going to get on any podcast streaming type of thing, I recommend Apple podcast because it's the industry leader, basically the industry standard. Um, you do have to get approved by them. You just check out, if you just Google how do you make an Apple podcast, um, how to get approved for an Apple podcast. It's, it's all there. It's, it's super simple. I did it for Mike last week for his newest podcast, 
which is Grow My Service Company. So shout out to Grow My Service Company if you want to check that out. Um, anyhow, so again, it's depending on how hardcore you want to get. You can do it in levels too. You don't have to do everything perfectly right from the get go. The thing that matters is that you start. Okay. Um, also, after Apple Podcasts, I would say go for Spotify. Spotify is super, super easy to um, get your podcast on. And Joe Rogan, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that crazy awesome podcaster, but he just signed a deal with Spotify where he's going to be exclusive to them. Anyhow, this is all industry jargon, but that just means Spotify is going to get more and more and more podcast listeners in the future very quickly. So make sure you're on there too. Number six. We're almost there, guys. You made it this far. I love you. So rinse and repeat. Key thing. Once you start, keep going. Consistency is key. And I'm preaching to myself because on my personal podcast, I'm the worst at this. Okay. So make your goal to do the Facebook Live or your recording, even if you don't go live on Facebook, make it your goal to do it one time a week. Just start there and do it the same time every week. Same, same bat channel, same bat time. I don't know. That's a really old Batman reference. I'm such a nerd. Anyhow, once you get comfy, bump it up to two times a week and just keep, keep going. Even if you have zero listeners and you will, you're going to have zero listeners for a time. It, it's, it happens. That's okay. Y'all got to start somewhere. All right, guys. So I don't want to go too long. I hope you enjoyed all of this. If you ever need any help, just hit me up in the Facebook group. Uh, we're in the free Grow My Cleaning Company Facebook group. I'm Lindsay Bjorklund. Uh, it's B-J-O-R-K-L-U-N-D. And uh, this type of podcast workflow, it has such a low barrier to entry and gets people knowing you and thus your brand. Eventually, if you're like me, you'll fall in love with it. You, you don't need that fancy equipment, like I said, to really approach to promote it. The key is to just start. So guys, one more thing. If you enjoyed hanging out with me, do your girl a favor and we're going to kind of like get Mike on this. So review this podcast, the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast on whatever your podcast provider is, whether that's iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and leave a review. Once you leave a review, head on over to our brand new Instagram. I'm so pumped about it. It's just Instagram.com, Grow My Cleaning Company. If you're on your phone, just type in Grow My Cleaning Company you'll find us. And uh, then you can go ahead and DM Mike, DM Mike through there and just say, Lindsay sent me to get a copy of his book. I'm a freaking genius. Why is this business so hard? Um, that's something that's available usually on Amazon for 20 bucks, but we'll get it to you for free. So do that, do it. Just, just, in, just play. if we get like 20 people to just annoy Mike in his inbox, it's going to make me so happy. So um, yeah, again, if you enjoyed this, if you got some value out of this, um, Hopefully you can do me that favor. Um, you're welcome, Ken Johnson. You're welcome, Jessica. Everyone, thanks so much for coming out today. I really appreciate you. It's good seeing you again. And hopefully we can do this again soon. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you're fired up, ready to grow, and want to see if you have what it takes to work with us at Grow My Cleaning Company, here's what I want you to do right now. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk. That's growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk to book an appointment to speak with me personally. I'm going to jump on the phone with you to get you crystal clear on where you are now, where you want to be, and how to get you there. Don't walk around in the dark any longer. If you are serious about growing your cleaning company, it's time to finally get the systems in place that you need to grow. We've helped hundreds of owners of cleaning companies not only grow their business and their personal freedom, but give back to their community as well. If that's what you're looking for, head over to growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash talk and book a time to talk with me personally. I can't wait to get to know you and your business.